All right, hello, hello. How's everybody doing? This is the Rock Up Review Stream featuring our very, very special guest, Jayla from Whiskey Central. Hey guys. Uh, so thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. So let's run through who's all, who's already in the chat. Actually, I was just saying in the chat, you beat me to my own stream. <laughs> you like were that. you were here before I was. So uh, Trev Wilson's here. Good to see you, buddy. Spencer. Um, Wheels. Oh, Wheels. Yes, I had to remind myself that um, Wheels is unfortunately was recently in a car accident. For those of you who uh, may not know, and uh, because he's in a wheelchair, he has a special special ring. Uh, thunder and lightning over on Shayla's end. She's Sorry, guys, I'll mute for a second. Right now, that's okay. That's okay. Um, but yeah, so he he was recently in an accident, unfortunately, um, and he's got to replace the the rig in his car. Plus, he's you know losing wages, so he's got a GoFundMe going. He's got a GoFundMe going. Um, the link to which is in the description of this video. So if you got a couple extra bucks and you're able to help out Wheels, he's a great guy, a great member of the community here on the old Whiskey Tube. Very generous dude. Uh, always giving out samples and such. So please go support Wheels, go help him out. We'll probably remember, remind you at the end of the video as well. So, oh, and Trev just put it up in the chat. So yeah, yeah, go go support Wheels, go help out Wheels. He's uh, he's a good, he's good people. So For sure. yeah, uh, but Shayla, why are, why are we here tonight? Because I like Johnny Walker a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> And I think that it deserves a, a chance in cocktails. Yeah. <laughs> well, we were so we were both on whose stream was it? Was it? Um, um, it Bill? was Bill's or Whiskey Crusaders. I can't remember which well, one. It, it, those two kind of blended together. Those yeah. two, those two streams kind of blended together. Um, and so, yeah, you were saying everyone was kind of ragging on Johnny Red. Mm -hmm. But you, you came to its defense. Yes. Like I, so I don't drink it often, but when I do drink it, I drink it with ginger ale and I think it tastes good with ginger ale. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, and that kind of inspired me to be like, all right, well maybe, maybe we need to give uh, Johnny a fair shake here. Um, oh, Andrew Sproul's in. Good to see you, Andrew. Thanks for stopping by, man. Oh, and Richie Z. I, I totally missed Richie. Hey, Richie. Hi. Oh, and Mike Meyer. Mike Meyer just popped in. Good to see you. Okay. Um, yeah. For those of you who are just coming in now, link to Wheels is GoFundMe in the in the chat. People remind uh, remind newcomers if you can. Um, hey, yes. The hair, the hair is yeah. gone. The hair is gone. Um, I just wanted to apologize. Also, there's like a tropical storm happening right now, so there's a lot of thunder and lightning. Uh, sorry. <laughs> um, well, no, that's that's perfectly okay. That's perfectly okay. okay. Oh, before we get into the the uh, the cocktails, though, I oh. did want to bring up one new release. Oh, yeah. For those, for those of you who may not watch this stream weekly, we do usually talk about some new releases. Most of the ones I'm interested in because I'm selfish and take up <laughs> too much time. Um, but new Kilhoman Evolution. Oh, Oh, I'm excited for this one. 14-year-old single cask. Um, this one looks really, really cool. So part of the Evolution series. Um, only 200 bottles coming to the United States, though. Only 200. But everybody everybody who watches this show knows I'm a huge Kilhoman fanboy. I am I love I love my Kilhoman so much. It's so good. So so obviously, I had to bring that up before we got into the main thing. I'm going to be on the lookout for that. I'm going to be driving around all the liquor stores, seeing, seeing what what I can't find. But okay, without further ado, let's get into the cocktails. So okay, what do you want to make first? Should we start out with your preferred one? 
Or should we sure, start? but it's gonna be it's gonna ruin all the other ones because it's gonna taste the best. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think. That's okay. Maybe as long as I have, maybe as long as I still have taste buds, that's a good okay. idea. Okay, let's do that. Um, okay. Oh, grab Young's okay. here. Okay. Johnny Red likes goes well in. So okay, so we're just gonna do like what an ounce, an ounce of Johnny. Yeah, I do an ounce and a half. Hold on one sec. I gotta uh, get some ice. So one oh, sec. Oh yeah, go for it, please, please. Uh, an ounce and a half of the of old Johnny. Uh, who else is in here? Peter White. Good to see you. Glad to see you in okay. the chair. Um. Okay. So yeah, I do an ounce and a half of this stuff. Or Ron's butter. Where is my? There it is. Right. And then I fill the glass up with ginger ale. So do you, do you have a per, like a precise amount of ginger ale you like to use, or is it just? Um, no, I just like fill it up. I okay. don't know. Just lay it on top. Okay, that's good. Yeah, you can always add more or less Johnny depending on if it still tastes bad or not. So. Yeah. Um, oh, cool, cool, cool 62 chef, big me, uh, big dick club, no, the, the equivalent here on the Rocket Review, our local chapter of the big dick club, <laughs> if, you, if you put in a super chat here, or I'm going to say also, if you do a, if you go donate to the GoFundMe for wheels, you become part of the large penis society <laughs> or, or our sister chapter. The humonger, humongous clitoris coalition, <laughs> whichever you prefer, whichever. Oh, you prefer. That is so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, come, come join, come join in the large Genova club. <laughs> uh, okay, so ginger ale, gotta get that. Yep. I should have gotten Schweppes. I should have gotten like Schweppes or Goslings. I wasn't so thinking. So I tried it with Canada and with Schweppes, and I think Schweppes tastes better, but um, either one works. So yeah, I think it'll be okay. I just yeah. Usually, I Canada Dry is a little sweet, you know. It's not that gingery. It's like the least gingery. Yeah. Of ginger ales. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's much more sweet. Okay, and then we do we're gonna do like a lemon lemon wedge garnish. Yeah, a little lemon guy. Go a little, squeeze that out. Yep. All right. Pop All right. Then give it a go. All right, I'm gonna give it a little stir. Oh yeah, give it a little stir. Oh yeah, should I don't have a spoon? Whoopsie. I'm just like. There we go. <laughs> oh, look at Patrick Fulmer coming through. With our Patrick Fulmer. Thank oh, you, Patrick. Whiskey Sours. All right. Oh, we could have done Whiskey Sours. I didn't even yeah. do Whiskey Sours. Yeah. I mean, I do have some lime juice somewhere in the house. So if we okay, if we have time at the end of the evening, we can get yeah. in on the Whiskey Sour. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, the overreaching umbrella group, the gargantuan goat head. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh, uh, that's perfect. All right, let's try this. Let's try this real quick. All right, cheers, guys. Cheers. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. It's not that bad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, people people are hating. You gotta you gotta at least try this. Well, my thing with Johnny, I think my mm -hmm. thing with Johnny is oh, <laughs> AJ Lopez is saying he's a staunch supporter of the coalition for the narration of itinerant travelers. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, AJ. Um, um, but yeah, my I think my problem usually with trying to drink Johnny is that it's got that really weird like. It's got just enough peat to be plasticky, but not enough peat to be smoky. Yeah, yeah. You know, and so it kind of comes off as this weird, uh, I don't know. I like, know exactly what you mean, yeah. Yeah, it's like a funky sock taste kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. But it actually goes pretty well with it. Like, you, it, this kind of eliminates that funky sock taste. Yeah, it's so sweet that it, like, I don't know, I feel like it cuts that weirdness a little bit, but. Right, right. But it does it does leave just enough just enough of that like kind of peat kind of thing to yeah. like come out on the finish. Yeah, you can still kind of taste the I mean smokiness if you want to call it that or weird plasticiness. The weird plasticiness, yeah. It's 
Johnny Red isn't quite like smoky, smoky. No, yet. yeah. It's, yeah, my husband had tried it and he was like, this is smoky. And I was like, it kind of is, but it's like, I don't know, it's weird. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah, I don't actually remember. I don't even remember. Do they tell us what they blended into this? I mean, it's. Uh, Kal Isla, Kal Isla is the smoke, I think. Kalila? Or Kalila, yeah. Kalila, yeah. Uh, that makes sense because it's, it's a. It's Diageo owned now, right? I'm pretty yep. sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Kalila, Kalila is a tricky one too, when it comes to smoke, because they do have a really funky, weird smoke that's kind of different from all the other Islas. Yeah. So maybe that's why this tastes weird. Well, and then you like you cut down the smoky Kalila with all that young grain whiskey. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, it's it's a little odd. Uh, oh, hey, Greg T. Stag is in. I didn't see you make it in there. Um, oh, Mike Meyer is making a good point, is asking about a good thing. He's been avoiding the Walker family, but what are some good members of the Walker family? Okay. So, I mean, you could do double black mm -hmm. or black. Um, I haven't had green, but I heard that it's good. So, green, green. Actually, yeah, green is pretty smoky. Mm -hmm. Green is actually surprisingly smoky. Yeah. And plus that's a blended malt, which I kind of I kind of dig. Um, I'm trying to think what else. My thing with Johnny, like I've got a little 18 here. I suppose mm -hmm. I could try. Maybe I'll break that out sometime after yeah. the cocktails. But like my thing with Johnny, like the more expensive ones, like uh, uh, blue. I've had blue. It's not really that good. Not for like, what is it, $250 or something? Yeah, yeah, it's really expensive. Yeah, you could get so many other bottles <laughs> instead of that, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think my problem with Johnny Blue is like, is it, it's clearly, it's clearly better than red. Like, no doubt about that. Oh, yeah, yeah. But like, it kind I mean, of. I mean, have it and I know. <laughs> yeah, I think my problem is kind of like, it has like the same, the same level of peatiness, which is not enough for me. Like yeah. if you're gonna go peaty, you gotta go hard. Or you gotta not do it at all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, Emily Chambers. Good to hey, Emily. see you. Emily Chambers is another wonderful, wonderful friend of the channel. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you know. It's a dead walker. <laughs> I haven't watched that show in a minute. Uh, Game of Thrones? Huh? Game of Thrones? No, I was saying Walking Dead. I assumed he was talking mm -hmm. about Walking Dead. Oh, okay. I was thinking like White Walkers. Like, oh, uh, okay. That too, yeah. No, but maybe he was talking about, yeah. Either way, they're both good dead, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I uh, I think now that Michonne's left the show, there's really no reason for me to watch that show. Yeah, um, I watched it for a while, and then I kind of got off of it. I don't know why, but I can't remember which season I stopped I stopped watching it. But yeah. also, I get kind of creeped out with that stuff. So <laughs> that's fair. I don't do well with horror shows overall. Mm -hmm, me neither. Yeah, I'm not I'm not big on gross out stuff or like watching mm -hmm. people in pain. I'm not. It's not for me, man. Yeah. Um, Sir Tandon weighs in and saying, for the cost of blue, you can get just double wood and a nice dinner. There you go. That's fair. Yeah, nice dinner out. Yeah. Uh, uh, should we? OK, so actually, the ginger ale highball, pretty dang good. Not too bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, this actually works pretty well. Mm -hmm. I think the ginger ale kind of takes over a lot. So you lose. Yeah. 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 It's like having a soda. Oh yeah, do you want to try another one? Can we try another one? Sure. What do you want to yeah. do? I'm gonna set this aside. I will finish this later, but I'm not. No worries. Be, no, I'm not oh, finishing right. Okay. I mean, I'll finish it later. Yeah, but no worries. Um, should we try the Rob Roy next? Sure. Sure. Okay. Okay. Sure. I've got I got a little ice right here. This guy. I need ice again. Hold on. <coughs> Problem is I don't have a fridge in this office space. Over there, so. uh, so now I usually make so Rob Roy. For those of you who don't know, 
a Rob Roy is like it's a Scotch Manhattan, basically. Yeah, yeah, Scotch Manhattan. Yeah. Okay. Um, I usually like my Manhattans with uh, with rye. Mm -hmm. I'm not big on bourbon Manhattans personally. Yeah, when I did um, my review of Wild Turkey, that's what I said. You could make a Manhattan with it. Yeah. I generally, well, here's my thing. I like when I make a Manhattan. Oh! Cool job. Look at that. Cool 62, Mr. Chev, joining the Large Penis Society. <laughs> or, or also the Humongous Clitoris Coalition. Depending on, yeah. Depending Whatever on you want it to be, that, that's what it is for you. Okay, and I can't remember, do we do a cherry with this? Uh, I usually do cherries. You can also, yeah, okay. I see people do like an orange, an orange peel. Uh huh. I don't know, I don't know. I usually do a cherry though. Okay. Yeah, especially I for a, especially for, a, for a, Yeah, I think old fashioned maybe is the orange. Yeah, actually, well see, here in Wisconsin, and oh, I'm also using uh, Dolan vermouth. Oh, which, okay. That's my favorite vermouth, simply because it's a, like it's a sweet vermouth, but it's the least sweet, sweet vermouth in the world. Like okay. it's a super spicy vermouth. So. Uh, yeah, but here in Wisconsin for old fashions, we actually usually garnish them with like a cherry and an orange slice. That's oh, okay. Kind of thing. But we also make them with brandy. Oh. Yeah. Instead of whiskey, so. All right. Yeah. yeah. We get a lot of hate for that. For making it with brandy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. When I first told people that on like Whiskey Tube, we had an episode about uh, uh, making Wisconsin style old fashions. I told and, and I told people we were gonna make it with brandy. Oh, and people lost their mind. <laughs> <laughs> this is not allowed. <laughs> Except then, um, who was it? Then someone from Wisconsin got mad at us because we used the wrong brandy. Oh, <laughs> you're supposed to use this one. That's it. That's awesome. <laughs> you can't win. You're just like <laughs> you really can't. I mean, it's the internet. Everyone's gonna talk crap. Yeah. Um. So, okay, there we are. I also really like Manhattans because they give me an excuse to uh, use a use stem glassware. Oh, shit. Oh, Jason, he is at it again. Jason, what are you doing? Jason. Big, big club, now he's, what is it again? I think he's part of the big, he is the biggest dickus and now yeah. he's the largest penis. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. Jason's Jason's coming out. All right, what is what is he what is he suggesting? So it's similar to like the ginger ale kind of thing. Like you use simple syrup, ginger juice, and club soda, which is kind of like making your own ginger ale, probably. There's club soda, simple syrup, two ounce ginger juice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Preferably starting the KW Red would work. That's actually another thing I think we're gonna have a, have to do a night of, and you're welcome to come back for that as well. Sure. Smoky cocktail night. Oh yeah. Yeah, because Erica Erica was just talking about uh, making smoky toddies using Kilhoman castrate. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I've only made it with like um, like Irish or just like a really easy drinking mm -hmm. um, whiskey. Um, I've never made one smoky, so that would be interesting. Yeah, my my favorite thing actually, and this is something Brad LeClaire from Cast Strength introduced me to, was uh, smoky cokes. Oh, yeah. Smoky, smoky cokes are like if you're if you are okay with like you know wasting your smoky whiskey in a coke. Yeah. Yeah. You know, wasting isn't isn't really the right word, but like. It's really good. Yeah. It's really good. All right, yeah, I've only do ever done Jack and Coke, so. And I don't have fancy martini glasses. I only have rocks glasses, so. Well, That's I do have fancy martini glasses, but I forgot about it, so. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's okay. I like I like the ginger ale better, but I think it's it's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, uh, Jason Luthi is saying ginger juice is a lot spicier than mint mm. ginger ale. I could imagine that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like a way more fresh version of the same kind of thing, like right. a more legit version, <laughs> actual ginger. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Jason, you're you're a wonderful, beautiful man. Thank you. Thank you for having such a large penis. Uh, 
Um, oh man, everyone's throwing up. Everyone's throwing up good ideas for cocktails oh, now. Triple sec. Oh, I didn't think about that. Triple sec and agave, yeah. nectar and lime. Oh, that would be good. Yeah, we could have done. I didn't even think to do sidecars tonight. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been terrible. Guy, sorry. <laughs> um oh hey jason mash and drum is Hi, good to see the bud oh my gosh did you see his live yesterday no i didn't i didn't I, so I, he like I, shouted yeah. out wheels and then everybody just started like flooding the stream with super chats and it was just like oh like oh that's... yeah i started crying he got a little choked up too like it was it was really cool yeah yeah, yeah. Please, please i will i will be donating um Two wheels is uh, uh, cause. So, um, how many? Like, if please, like, go donate to wheels directly. Too. Like, actually, that's probably the best way to do it. Go donate to wheels directly, because then YouTube won't take a cut. Yeah. 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 So that's something to remember. Like, YouTube does take a cut of super chats. Yeah. Um, but what? How much do we raise so far? We got like fifty from 50, 50 60 yeah. bucks. Yeah. Whatever we make from Super Chats tonight, I will I will put along to wheels. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. No problem whatsoever. Like, yeah. Wheels Wheels needs our help more more right now than I need to make money. So <laughs> oh, please, any Super Chats, yeah. go to him. If you would prefer just to donate directly to him, go do that instead. Because that way, you know, YouTube doesn't get their grubby little hands on it. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's awesome. Um, yeah. I, the night is young, so hopefully we can raise a little bit more. What was that? The night is young, so hopefully we can raise a little bit more. Yeah, for sure. Um, oh, Graham Young also says Smoky Dr. Pepper is awesome. Ooh, oh, I bet that would be. I like uh, Dr. Pepper and Jack Daniels, like, better than Jack and Coke. Sure. So I bet I would like that. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. I do like – I like – Coke better for just drinking, just mm -hmm. as a drink. But yeah, if I'm gonna mix something, Dr. Pepper is a for is it's more interesting to drink with a whiskey. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Got like more going on. Yeah. Um I gotta say though, this is not horrible, this Rob Roy. It's not undrinkable. It's definitely one of the worst I've ever made. Though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not. It's not my favorite for sure. That's why I was saying we can't start off with like this delicious one because then right. they're all gonna be like, ah. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, but it's it's okay. I mean, it, I think it makes Johnny Walker Red taste better. But I think if you had a rye Manhattan, it would be a lot better. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. No, for sure. Uh, Master Joe saying mint julep with oh, mint julep. Oh, with Ardbeg, yeah. That's an interesting one. You know, I was nervous. I thought about doing, we could have done mint juleps today, but I was I like, I don't know how that would do with Johnny. That doesn't sound all that appetizing to me. Yeah, I feel like you'd have to have a little bit better alcohol for that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, this this Rob Roy was kind of a misstep though, after the mm -hmm. ginger ale. We might have wanted to save the ginger ale for the end, because this yeah, one. Yeah. Well, if we, do, if we do like a Godfather or, um, a rusty nail, I think it'll kind of bring it back to the, the sweet zone. Or we could do an old fashioned because we're already kind of on the that well, side. There, there you go. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, we could do it do the old fashioned next. Sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know if I'm gonna finish this. I'm just gonna fish the cherry out and eat it. <laughs> there you go. The problem is it like tastes really thin. It tastes like you took a rye Manhattan and just like thinned it out like you wanted yeah. it. Oh. And put kind of like weird flavor in it. I don't know. Yeah. 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 It's weird. Um. All right. Shall we try? Shall we try the old fashioned? Sure. All right. Where I put my sugar cubes? There we are. Give it a go. Oh, that's the other thing. Someone got mad at me for. Everyone's made an old fashioned on this show with simple syrup rather than a sugar cube. Uh huh. People get very mad about that. People are like, you're very, supposed to model it, damn it. <laughs> people are very, very particular about their uh their you know, like Manhattan or their uh, uh old fashioned. Oh here it is. Okay. All right. I like pre-made everything because I, I didn't know what we were doing <laughs> and this is no, my no, first cocktail stream, so sorry. <laughs> actually that's actually 
the uh, probably the smarter thing. Um, I'm saying, uh, what sherry am I using? I'm actually using Copper and King's brandied cherries. Oh, nice. Copper and King's brandied cocktail cherries. Yeah. Um, and she's saying to use orange bitters. I have, I've done orange bitters. Oh, yeah. Orange bitters, orange bitters does go well in a uh, Manhattan. So, or not a Manhattan. God, I keep saying the wrong thing. Old fashioned. Oh. All right, muddle this baby up. Now, here's my thing. Yeah. Some people put soda water in their old fashions. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's weird to me. I've never I've never done that before. I never have either. Either. Like I, so I usually okay. So muddle muddle your bitters with your uh uh. What do you call it? With your with your sugar cube. Yeah. Pour in your whiskey. Yeah. A little bit. Boop, boop, boop. We'll do like an ounce and a half of that. And then I'll put like a, just a dash of still water on it. Like I, I won't okay. I won't do soda water, but I do like still. I'll yeah, just, I'll just let it go. I'll just a go. drop of still water in there. Yeah, somebody said a robot Scott. I prefer rye old fashions with orange bitters. Yeah. Rye old fat. Okay. Nobody, nobody here in Wisconsin does rye. Oh, still water. Like just regular water, not <laughs> not soda water. Like yes, not bubbly. Not bubbly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But rye old fashions. I've never tried a rye old fashioned. Yeah, I've had a rye Manhattan, but I don't know if I've ever done a rye. I don't think yeah. I've ever done a rye old fashioned. Yeah, for sure. Like that's. No, nah. it sounds good though. Like it sounds like it would be pretty damn tasty. Yeah. Um. Oh, Emily Chambers says also white sugar cubes are wrong for drinks too. So maybe I don't know what other kind of sugar cube you'd use. Oh, what other sugar cube would you use? Yeah, because I just these use, are, I just are, use white. These are cane sugar. These are oh. cane sugar sugar cubes. I don't know if that's the if that's not something. I'm not sure. <laughs> We're professional cocktail makers, guys, obviously. So. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> I definitely don't drink like 90% of my whiskey neat. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, don't use simple. I just add water to a sugar cube. It's, yeah, it's literally the same thing. That's true. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matt and Jones says Demerara sugar cubes. Ah. Yeah. Jason would know. Jason would know. <laughs> I think I think I can live with my my white cane sugar. It'll work. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. I like that a lot more than the Rob Roy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna have to compare them. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I think I like this more. I think I like this more. Oh, not for me. Not no. For me. No, no. I'm actually. Oh, Patrick Fulmer is busting my balls. A rye guy like me has never had a rye old for this fashion. Didn't you see him? I don't pretend to like rye. He, he doesn't actually like rye, you guys. Apparently. <laughs> um, well, but. Mr. Balistrieri's got it right. It's because we do brandy old fashions. I never put whiskey in my old fashions. That's right. why I got brandy in the house. Like I don't. Well, think maybe this is weird for you because of that. Yeah, that could be it. Yeah. Like that's that's what we use. Yeah. I never. I have. I I drink whiskey neat. I put brandy in old fashions. Yeah. 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 Normally I drink whiskey neat. I like never. I had to go buy all this cocktail stuff because I don't drink cocktails really, <laughs> unless yeah. I'm at like a restaurant. Or something, but right, sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, if there's like, if I go to a restaurant, and we're having dinner. I, I I don't, I don't know what other people do, but I don't like drinking whiskey neat with food. Yeah, yeah. Most of the time, no. I feel like I don't know. I feel like I it's like its own meal or something. Like I just want to do it by itself, you know? Right, right. Like I'll drink it before dinner or 
or after dinner. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like during when I'm eating and stuff, I feel like I want to sip that, but if I'm eating something, I would want to like, I don't know, drink more quickly or, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I, am, I see, I run a side business here in Milwaukee called Whiskey Experience MKE, where we go and do private tastings. Oh, and cool. People, yeah, but people always want like, appetizers like they want us to prepare like small plates along with yeah. their whiskey and i'm like all right i can i'll pair your whiskeys with with stuff that's fine i just don't get it yeah yeah you know what i mean like eat before and then palate cleanse and go drink exactly. <laughs> yeah 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 i gotta say i really prefer sweeter old fashions yeah I like this. I think it's actually kind of nice, but I've never had a brandy old fashioned, so I can't compare. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's yeah. that's the one. It's the one drink I want to be sweeter. I, I would prefer to be sweet rather than dry. Everything else I like dry, but then like when it comes to old fashions, got to have that sweet brandy. Yeah. Oh, Patrick Fulmer is asking which brandy. Uh, right now, I've been doing a lot of Copper and Kings, just their regular old brandy. So, otherwise, uh, Driftless Glen has a great uh, has a great uh, brandy as well. So, yeah. Oh, Bill brings up a good point. Uh, wine is what you drink with food. Whiskey is just too strong to pair with food. I think that's generally. Yeah, I know some people that do, but but yeah, I feel like wine more with dinner, or maybe yeah, like a cocktail. Yeah, I don't know. I think, well, here's here's part of my problem. Oh, oh, we lost her. We knew this might happen. She's in the middle of a tropical storm. She may have just dropped out for a second because of the storm. Hopefully everything's okay on her end. Um, but, oh, here she's back. I lost All right. here. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> um, no, uh, you okay over there? Everything's all right? Yeah, yeah, our power didn't go out, so I don't know. I don't know what's going oh, on. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, so I think for me, the problem is that like when you eat, right, your mouth gets more acidic. And so it increases the feel of the burn of the whiskey. Right, right. So I always feel like if I try to eat right after I drink whiskey or eat, or eat and then drink whiskey, like I feel I just taste the alcohol. I don't actually taste the, the taste. The you know? flavors, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so do you, are you a cigar guy? Do you do cigars and uh, and whiskey? I know there's some people that do that, but no, I have absolutely terrible lungs. My my old well, my mom's side of the family has just the worst lung problems, so I really can't smoke anything. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I used to do cigars, but now I don't. They kind of made me. I don't know if I was just doing it wrong, but they kind of make me sick. So I've heard that. I've heard that if you like, if you breathe it. Breathe it in too much, you get nauseous. Yeah, you're not supposed to breathe them in, I guess. But um, I don't know. I would just get really bad headaches. I don't know if it's just like too much nicotine, maybe, or or what. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. No, I know my old my old man likes cigars. And when we were down in Austin for the basketball, he made a lot of friends. Just especially like Mitch Weddle. I think Mitch Weddle was somewhere in the chat earlier. I don't know if I said hi to him, but uh, yeah. We were friends with Mitch Weddle and smoked a bunch of like whiskey infused cigars, which sounds cool, but I just I just can't do it. I would just hack up a lung. Yeah, no, it sounds so cool. Like when I'm watching the Bourbon Junkies, I'm like, they're so badass, and then I'm just like, I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, no, that's one thing I uh I will skip. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go back to this. This one is good so far. Yeah. Hey, there he is. There's there's Mr. Full Weddle. Good to see you, bud. Oh. Spencer, what whiskey did you use for your terrible old fashioned? Oh yeah, he was talking to me earlier in um, Discord and he was saying he has like a terrible bourbon that he's trying to fix with cocktails and a terrible scotch, I think, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know what he's, I can't remember if he said a brand or not though, but. Yeah. Erica actually, I don't know if Jason is still in the chat, um, Mash and Drum, but that Jephthah Creed that he gave us, we actually, she actually put into a bourbon smash uh, that turned out pretty goddamn well, actually. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, so, uh, oh, Aaron Muckry Moore. Wow, I'm so proud. Oh, he's it's he says it doesn't. It's not terrible. He just doesn't like it. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Okay. Aaron usually puts out pretty solid products, so I'd be su surprised if they made something really, really shitty. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, everyone everyone has a couple of off bottles every once in a while. Yeah, yeah. I'm putting um, word in Spencer's mouth. Sorry, I was like, it's terrible. No, <laughs> doesn't like it. Okay. Um, yeah, actually, that's a good question. As long as we got you on the show, what is what is the worst whiskey you've had? Because we kind of that's kind of our thing. Ooh, okay, so so I was on a stream with the whiskey dick, and I don't know if this counts, but he made me mix Red Label and White Walker together, uh, and that was I think that was the worst one I've ever had. But yeah, yeah. I could only imagine White it was pretty Walker. Good. White Walker is so much worse than Red Label. Yeah, yeah, I bought it because I was like Game of Thrones. This is so cool, and then it was like this is such a like prop bottle or I don't even know what to call it just like it's so a gimmick. it's such a gimmick yeah that's what I was trying yeah trying to go for, yeah oh yeah no doubt no doubt have um, you tried any of the other like Game of Thrones um you know yeah. that whole line yeah um I think I tried everything except Royal Lock Nagar I don't know if I tried that one or not and the um Oh, there was one I really wanted to try, but I didn't get my hands on. It was the Mortlock. They came up with a Mortlock. Yeah. It was, what, it was like a Mortlock 8, 15 or 18? I don't remember. But that one looked really cool, and, I, and unfortunately, it sold out before I grabbed a bottle. Oh, dang. Yeah, I didn't try any of those because I wasn't into, like, whiskey yet when all of those came out. But, um, but yeah, they look super cool, though. <laughs> yeah. Some of them were were really, really good. Um, yeah. Klein Leash, I think I might still have some Klein Leash around here. Oh no, I think I might have killed it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Klein Leash was really good. The Lock of Woolen was really good. The Talisker was really good. Yeah. The ones that were shit were basically anything they released under the, the Johnny Walker brand. <laughs> These were fuck. Yeah, I still have this guy. I took like one drink out of it. And yeah. It's like still at the top. Oh, they're the worst. Yeah. Oh, they're disgusting. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I I don't know what the hell they were thinking with those. Um, Sawyer fam, Cincy, I don't think I have ever seen you in the chat. So good to see you. Thank you for popping in. Oh, yeah, I think she's a, a, a subscriber of my channel. Oh, nice. Oh, she's saying Oban's uh, Night Watch was good. Oban is very good. Yeah. Um, yeah, the ones you listed as being good were the ones that I wanted to try. Once I found out about it, I was like, oh, these are so cool. And those were kind of like my three or four that I was I was wanting to try. So maybe one day. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, we still actually have a couple uh, of the Game of Thrones releases at my store, but they're not they're not like the really good ones. They're yeah. like the ones that they're like the I think we still have Cardu and Dalwini. Oh, okay. Like, Cardu was unfortunately because i wanted to like it but it was just the most boring scotch i've ever had yeah oh, not, not not bad enough to be interesting yeah good enough to actually be drinkable it's just yeah. like that was nothing <laughs> yeah yeah um aj's on that lag of 16. Oh, nice. all right should we do our next cocktail sure yeah um, okay. yeah, I'm gonna look at this. Um, oh, also, I'm rocking these really cool Rock Up Review glasses that my oh, cool. sister bought for me. That's awesome. I think that we ought to actually start, like, get a line of these going so we can actually sell them to people. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's see. We got... What do you want to try next? Well, we, we could either do a rusty nail, which is what? Scotch and drambuie. Yeah. Or we could do the Godfather, which is amaretto and scotch. Whatever you want. What are you thinking? Ooh, let's go Godfather. Okay, let's do Godfather. Or no, wait, let's do let's do the other one. Let's do the other one. Let's do the other one? Okay. The rusty nail. nail. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think so, uh, the sweet amaretto will be probably like a good way to, like yeah. a good nightcap, you know? We got a little, we got a little Andram Buhach. 
The oh, drink man. that satisfies is literally what it means. <laughs> is that? It's funny because it's it's so it's uh, Bonnie Prince Charlie's drink. Which is the story? Uh, Charles Edward Stewart, oh. right? Charlie, who was the leader of the the Jacobite Rebellion. That's that's the at least that's the tall tale they they say. Oh, yeah. There it goes. Okay. Okay, roasting now. All right. These are nice because they're really simple. It's just like right. a couple ingredients and ice. That is one thing that I will say for a lot of Scotch cocktails is that if you're there, you don't really have to think too hard about them. Yeah. Yeah. Just a couple of things. My, I, like if I'm going to a bar and they want to make something really complicated, that's fine. But if I'm making something at home, I just do not give enough of a shit. Yeah. To spend a lot of time. Yeah. Uh, uh, Whiskey Weddle is saying, uh, Rusty Nail is my favorite. Cool. Somebody asked uh, the Rusty Nail recipe. So I did uh, one and a half ounces of Johnny Walker, and then I think I did a quarter ounce of uh, uh, whatever one it is, Drambuie or the other one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Drambuie, right. Yeah. What? Or Spencer saying a dash of bitters. I don't. Is oh, that really? Yeah, I've never heard of a dash of bitters in there. I've, I've, I've I haven't. No. Guy doing just the drambuie and the scotch, but I'm sure. I'm sure people people do it all sorts of different ways. Yeah, yeah, that might be good. Yeah. Um. Oh, and whiskey. Well, I don't know if I highlighted this one already, but he says this is old man's favorite drink. So that's. Oh cute. yeah, yeah. Yeah, and Patty from Whiskey Den is in. Everybody, go go sh show some love to the boys over at Whiskey Den. They've got um, who is it you've got coming on the show this coming week? It was somebody important. Um, and the name escapes me. He's the one who's trying to fight me for the title of Rye Private Eye or Private Rye. <laughs> I don't remember what her name is, but yeah, she she's good people. I, Remind me in the chat, Patty. Oh, okay. He said that's my preference, not the actual recipe. So he likes a little oh, bit. Okay. That makes sense because I feel like Drambuie is really sweet. So maybe a little bit would be kind of nice to offset it. But yeah, why don't we try it? Why don't we try it like this, and then we'll add a dash of bitters and see see if it gets better. Yeah. Yep, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, that's not bad at all. Yeah. That it really hides good. the weirdness of Johnny Walker. Yeah. It gives it kind of, I don't remember what botanicals they put in here exactly. Yeah, I can't I remember. I know it's heather honey and. Yeah, spice. heather honey. And then they said, I think it's just, they say herbs and spices, but I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, but it, it's got yeah. like a nice, fun um, anise and. Yeah, like a little black licorice kind of thing. Yeah, it almost yeah. kind of reminds me of like um, Christmas for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why, but almost like eggnog or something. Sure, sure. No, no, it kind of does. It kind of got that same consistency. It's a thick consistency. Mm -hmm. And yeah. like maybe just some of the same spices or that sort of thing. Like, yeah, like anise or like clove or something. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, no doubt. Um. And how, howdy, John. Good to see you in. Howdy. Um, oh, Bill's is drinking I'm brewing cherry cask. You ridiculous person. You leave me alone. <laughs> um, that's going to bother me. I really actually need to remember who they're having on. Hold on. Go for it. Go check. Go check. I need to remember. So Mike Meyer says, I blended an ECBP with Pikesville. So a bourbon with a rye? Uh, let's see. Won't be submitting it to the mash and drum. It's not terrible though. That's awesome. The proof is there. Okay. Hmm. Um, I just checked it out. It's Heather Manley from Crooked Water uh, Spirits. That's okay. what it was. First, first uh, female owner of a distillery since Prohibition, maybe before. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So go, go make sure you subscribe to My Whiskey Den. Check out that live coming up uh, this coming Monday. Heather Manley interview. So yeah, very cool. That'll be a good one. She's actually really nice people too. So yeah, yeah, we met her at the Still America this year. So. Oh, okay. 
I dig this one. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just because I really can't taste the the JW yeah, the, red. The drambouille kind of just like hangs <laughs> over the top of it. It really just got like like the drambouille just sucked in the the Johnny. It's just like yeah. you're a part of me now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh no, yeah, I actually this one's pretty good. Yeah. I'm gonna throw a couple dashes of bitters in here. And see see if Spencer is correct about that. Give it a go. I don't have my bitters there in my kitchen. So. Um, but no worries. Yeah, I'll stir that baby up a little. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah, no problem, dude. No problem. Happy to help. Honestly, of the of the group so far, this is probably number two next to the original ginger ale one. Yeah, I think, and I think depending on your mood, like you might do this one or you might do the ginger ale. You know. Yeah. This, is I think nice this, this one's more of like a heavy, um, like winter time fall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cocktail. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like the ginger ale is like a summery kind of spring thing. And this is, yeah, like campfire, um, you know, wintertime kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure. Because this one, this one, this one tastes like, like you're eating a handful of toffee. Yeah. Like it's heavy. It's, it's. Yeah. Heavy. Yeah. This one's nice and nice and easy and spritzy. Yeah. But I kind of like the viscosity of this one, of the Drambouille one. No, it feels it like. This is gonna sound weird, but it feels good in your mouth. Like no, yeah, it does. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Spencer agrees. Rusty nail is definitely a winter. One hundred percent a winter drink. Yeah, and it's like ninety degrees here and ninety percent humidity. So oh yeah, well, I have the AC on, so it kind of feels <laughs> like winter. <laughs> yeah, no, that's uh, that's the crazy thing about Wisconsin is we get down to you know negative twenty in the winter yeah. but we also get up to 95 in the summer yeah so we're we're pretty you definitely have your seasons of yeah yeah that's nice but uh i'm sure it's mike meyer goes exceptional mouthfeel exceptional mouthfeel exceptional mouth oh i know what is that bob's burgers uh all right it's some it's some like cartoon like family guy or bob's burgers or something like that <laughs> oh god that sounds it sounds like a bob's burgers joke Mm -hmm. uh, um, That's awesome. <laughs> all right, we do only have 13 minutes left, though. Oh, okay. We're gonna try to keep this to an hour. Yeah. So we better we better break out our last cocktail. Okay. And oh, it's the Godfather. Okay. It is the Godfather. So this one's actually not that different from the Rusty Nail. No, you it's, 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 it's the Amaretto, Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a it's a. Liqueur mixed with a scotch. Uh, glass, there we are. So, gonna do some of that. Gonna do, I'm gonna do one and a half ounces again. Yeah, I think all mine were one and a half ounce uh, yeah. pours, just for kind of consistency. Yeah. Some recipes called for two ounces, but I didn't want to get Blotto, so <laughs> yeah, that's totally fair. Oh yeah, Bob's Burgers. Okay, yeah, totally, I do love Bob's Burgers. Dude, Bob's Burgers is great. <laughs> they are so cute. It's yeah. and it's one of those shows. It's one of those shows that's just such an easy watching show. That's a yeah. show I can I can watch any episode from any point in any of the seasons without like having to be really invested in it. Right, right. You know. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's fun. Then, I'm using Luxardo Amaretto. Because that's the brand name I recognized. <laughs> okay. I'm using Conti because that was the cheapest one I could find. <laughs> <laughs> there was um, Disarono and this one sitting right next to each other, and one was half the price, and I was like, you're my guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right. Cool. And I can't remember, do we garnish this with anything i don't remember either was it oh wait, is it a lemon wedge was it a lemon wedge that you garnished this one with i can't remember i think there was a garnish but i don't know 
Okay, I'm gonna check online. Luckily, we do have the internet. So. Okay, okay. I've got everything that we need if we do need something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, let's find out. I thought it might have been a lemon wedge. Let's see. Um, I must be broken. I can't stand Bob's burgers. Oh, man. Oh, that's funny. You gotta maybe drink a little bit more, John. <laughs> well, maybe, was it the lemon wedge was supposed to go in the rusty nail? I don't know. Oh, oh it was, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Well, no one ever. We are professional did. cocktail makers, guys. So you know. Um, I'm gonna. I'll. I'll try a little lemon wedge in my rusty nail. Okay, okay, I'll give it a go too. I'll give it a go. Oh, that? Yeah. Oh, um, this one smells like um, like an almond bear claw. Yeah, it kind of does. Making me hungry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is super, yeah, it's super almondy, like almond cherry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, holy crap. That's making me so hungry. <laughs> that really is, that's uh, like, we have Kringle here in Wisconsin. That's kind of our thing. I don't know yeah. if that's a thing other places, but yeah, our Kringle, it smells like almond cherry Kringle. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I know. Oh, I hate it, drinking. Oh, it does taste like Jaeger meat scotch. Kind of, yeah. Oh, it really is. Yeah. People, people either really love Jaeger or they absolutely hate Jaeger. Yeah. There's I've no, never had it in, um, I don't know what those are called, car bombs or something? Yeah, we don't we don't use the term car bomb on this on this show because this is a this is a pro Irish unity show. We use the term Good Friday. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah, no, uh, but like Jaeger bombs. Jaeger, Jaeger bombs. Or maybe it was Jaeger bomb. Yeah, yeah, because the, the other one is uh, with Irish, right? Right. Yeah, that's that's the one we don't, that's the name we don't use on this show. Um, gotcha. But um, this one's not bad. No, no, I like this one. Yeah, it's very sweet. I feel like it's a very desserty kind of um, like yeah. after dinner drink. These last two, like the, the Rusty Nail and the uh, Godfather, they don't taste bad at all. They like they taste pretty good. Yeah. I just couldn't drink more than one of them. For sure. Yeah. No. Like there's no way in hell. It's they're yeah. so sweet. They're really sweet. Like I only put so I put one and a half ounces of scotch and then a half an ounce of or 0.25 ounces of um, the amaretto, mm -hmm. and I still feel like it's almost too sweet. Like. Yeah. I went a little, I went a little down, down the amaretto. I'm gonna even yeah. that out a little bit. Yeah. Um, and see how, see if that gets any better. Because this one, this one, whoo, this is so sweet. It yeah, really the original is. recipe I saw was like the same amount of scotch and amaretto, and so I tried yeah. that at first, and I was like, that is way, way, way too sweet. So I cut it by like three quarters. Well, it's been kind of interesting in the world of cocktails recently, like, I feel like up, like prohibition era cocktails were all generally pretty sweet because they had to cover up bad alcohol. And then we kind of got out of that and started moving towards like a lot more dry drinks. People really like their drinks dry for a yeah. while. And now we're kind of moving back to sweet drinks a little bit more. Yeah. 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 We I don't know. It's interesting to see how these things like change as each generation kind of plays with them. Yeah. Uh, Spencer's saying, winner of the night was the drink I made up, ginger ale, rusty nail was pretty good. Old fashioned didn't get finished. That's fair. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm sad. The old fashioned for me might have been the worst of the group. Yeah, I think old fashioned or the um, Rob Roy. The Rob Roy didn't, it wasn't a great Rob Roy, but it certainly, I thought it was better than the old fashioned. Person. Maybe it was the vermouth I used too. I used like, there was only one vermouth available. So that was the oh, one I got. Fair. That's fair. So yeah, I feel like, I feel like if vermouth choice it, for Rob Roy's in Manhattan's makes a huge difference. Yeah. But what's the winner of the night? I think we both know. Is it mine? Oh, it's absolutely yours. Yeah. Oh like, there's no competition on this. Where'd it go? This guy. Yeah. <laughs> this one won easily. This one came out so. way, way ahead. But I like the Rusty Nail and I like the Godfather. I thought those were also pretty good. Yes. Yes. Like, especially if you're a sweet tooth, um, those ones are probably going to be your jam. 
Yeah. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. Um, I just think they are, they're too unctuously sweet to be like, like session cocktails. Yeah. This yeah. is very, this is very much a single after dinner cocktail. Just one. Yeah. Just yeah. It's one. like your dessert, basically. Like, just don't order a dessert. Just have this. Yeah. Oh, Mark Goings on was wondering. Oh, this was the uh, ginger ale and Johnny Walker Red highball. Yeah, with a little lemon twist. The little lemon twist. Yeah. That one. That one is. Yeah, that is way better. <laughs> that one. Yeah. I just think. I just think you do need something light and light, but it, it has to be light and spritzy. But it also has to be strong enough to cover up that weird Johnny Red taste. <laughs> Like cut through the the weirdness of uh, yeah yeah um, oh we were just talking about that Bill so Bill my drink which I told you to drink is the one that won so yes. go get ginger ale and a lemon twist yeah. <laughs> and try it damn it <laughs> hers hers did actually win out by like by far by 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 miles too it wasn't even a competition really yeah but then I think I think the Godfather and the and the um, the rest of you know, we're, we're good second yeah. and third choices, you know, so. Yeah, I'm trying to decide which one I like better. Do you have an opinion? For which one, the Rusty Nail or the? The Rusty Nail versus the Godfather. The Godfather, which one's this guy? Man, I don't know, I feel like the Drambuie is like reminds me of Christmas and makes me happy. And then this one is just like super, super, super sweet, which is not a bad thing necessarily, but I think I would go with the Drambuie more than the Amaretto. I agree. I just, I think the, I think the, actually the, uh, uh, the Godfather Amaretto scotch mixture smells better. It smells really, really good. It smells good. Yeah. But it smells like a bear claw. Yeah, but it doesn't quite taste as good. It's 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 cloyingly sweet and it's kind of over the top. Yeah, it's it's just not as good. A little too much, yeah. Yeah. Um, John Kranz says his his first scotch was a ginger ale highball years ago. Okay. There you go. Yeah, that was my first scotch, so maybe that's why I like it. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. You you always remember your first. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so. Well, that's the cocktails for the night. Um, in rock gut tradition, I'm gonna mix a little bit of each together right oh, here. Okay. All right. This is this is a tradition. This is this is a tradition we do on this show. You have to you have to mix all your beverages at the end of the night. Cool, cool, cool. I've seen people where they mix their drams. You know, they like put the they put oh, all yeah. their wine flights, you know, together. So. You're you're lucky. You're lucky. Erica's made me swear off mixing dairy products into my whiskey. <laughs> Otherwise, we might be drinking that right now. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> we did something. We did something called the uh, the White Norwegian, which yeah. was really just awful rot gut whiskey, <laughs> uh, hemp milk, and oh, it was hemp milk and um, pickle in chive herring. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, but we're not gonna do that tonight. We're just, oh, we're just gonna, so let's see how this turned out, this little. Oh. That's not that bad. It's really not that bad. I actually could just drink this. This is yeah. like. Yeah, that's, that's actually pretty good. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the ginger ale to it, cause. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's really not. That's really not a bad thing. Yeah, I feel like it cuts the amaretto sweetness. You get a little bit of drambuie, but not too much. That's not yeah, bad. No. The amaretto is still a little bit, a little bit over the top. But yeah, it's very, very strong. I almost feel like you have to give it like, instead of 0.25 ounces, like almost like a bar spoon, like just, yeah. just like a yeah. hint of it. Yeah. Oh my God, I forgot about that. For our thousand subscriber stream, we I made a blue cheese absinthe rye cocktail. Oh. <laughs> I did puke on stream. That did happen. Yes. That's so that was the worst thing I've ever drank. Oh by far. I don't like blue cheese, so I don't. Oh, just think of that makes me sick. <laughs> it was that really chunky blue cheese dressing too. Like, yeah. 
Um, almost made me hurl. Yeah, it almost made me hurl too, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah, my yeah. Anyway, but Emily Chambers has a good point. Good, good idea. Keep the ginger in the freezer uh, right until it comes to the glass. That's actually a, probably a good idea. Nice. So I have to, I'll have to try that. Anyway, we are coming to the end of our time here on the Rock Gut Review stream. Um, we are about to hit an hour. So I want to thank you, Shayla, so much for being on the show. Thank you, Ed. And thank you so much for inspiring this episode. Like, yeah, yeah. So that's awesome. Um, thank you, everybody who showed up. Thank you, everybody who donated. We, uh, in terms of super chats, I think we raised like sixty-five bucks for wheels. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. But I don't know how many of you may have also contributed to directly to his GoFundMe. Yeah. But rest assured, as soon as we get off of this stream, sixty-five dollars is going from my Google Sense straight to straight to wheels. Um, also. Also remember, go sub to Shayla. Oh, thank you. <laughs> one, of the, one of the new up and coming. Uh, I'm a newbie. <laughs> uh, shows. She's gonna be. She's gonna surpass me pretty soon, you guys. So, no. so <laughs> you make sure you make sure to go. We gotta get her up to a thousand at record record pace. So oh, anybody, sure. if you're in the chat right now and you're not subscribed to Shayla, I want you to leave. I want you to go straight over to Whiskey Central. I want you to subscribe. Oh, thank you, man. That's awesome. All right. But until next time, I'm going to do a poll check and cock because that is also a tradition on this show. Okay. Um, we got to do a chug. Is that what's up? Yep. We got to, we got to finish. We got to finish with a little chug. So until Here next time, everybody, thank you for coming on. Make sure to donate to wheels. Link is in the description and make sure to stay rotten.